Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all my contact information, including my email and social media links, along with links to my new music in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have at the foundation for Taurus, please? What do we have for Taurus? Four of Swords, Libra Energy at the Foundation, what do we have at the Sacral please, Four of Cups and Ten of Wands, I mean guys, just put those back, Six of Wands at the Sacral, Victory. Some sort of good news. What do we have at the solar plexus? Eight of wands at the solar plexus. Okay. Some sort of information is coming through here. Two of swords. Something you have to make a decision about. I feel like you've had some sort of illumination around something having to do with your foundation here, Taurus. Oh, no. It's not you. These people now are seeing how dramatically affected their lives have been by the absence of you. Oh. They finally see it now, huh? They finally see that it was actually them who were the trifling drama queens or drama queen kings. It was always them. They were the problem, not you. You stepped out and into your power. And now here they come. Please come back, Taurus, please. Two swords at the heart. They're wanting you to... Or they're wanting to make some sort of a compromise with you. They've made a decision that they're ready to compromise. They understand that you're not going to compromise your happiness for their stability, meaning allowing them to attach their narcissistic cords of energetic supply lines to you. You're just not going to allow that anymore. What do we have at the throat position, please? Eight of Pentacles at the throat in reverse. This is this energy that they projected onto you, this energy of stealing your ambition away from you. They wanted you to lack focus. It's almost like an energy here of them, I don't want to say them taking accountability, but it's them realizing that the only way they'll get anywhere with you is if they take some sort of accountability. But the problem here is, Taurus, this is a crime that's unforgivable. Keeping somebody off of their path Deliberately? They did this deliberately. Make no mistake of that. They knew exactly what they were doing when they set out to do this to you. For some of you, your entire life, siblings, family members, best friends, whoever this is to you, they did this deliberately. They thought you were, they thought you were stupid. They thought you were an idiot. That's why they did this, because it was funny to them. Four of Wands at the third eye. This is them seeing your success now and them wanting to come back and pretend like they want to be a... 
your biggest support system. They want to celebrate with you. They want to celebrate with you the celebrations you're having ever since leaving them behind and up-leveling. Huh. Interesting. I picked up on this energy, too. I don't know if it was in a Taurus reading or not. I can't remember. I think it was maybe last month or the month before. An energy of you stepping into this victory, right? Six of Wands at the Sacral. You creating this new life for yourself. You having just an energy. It's not even a literal celebration. It's just the energy of celebration around you. Every day is a celebration, right? Something new and awesome comes through, right? And now them coming through and wanting to celebrate the celebration you're getting because you left them behind. Hmm. It's like an energy of you throwing a party or somebody throwing a party because they finally quit some job that was horrible that they were stuck at in for years, right? And they said to themselves, you know what, I'm going to throw a party in and invite my friends and we're going to celebrate me not working at this crappy job anymore. And then your boss, who you hated, comes to the party. <sighs> Just this backwards thinking, like why would you even want to have anybody like that in your life that has that sort of mindset? Nine of Pentacles at the crown, Virgo energy. This is you and this very luxurious solo energy now. It's, it's an energy of self-sufficiency, realizing you don't need anybody to do what it is you need to do. You could do this completely on your own and be ten times happier on your own doing it. Okay. What do we have at the foundation? What demon was playing with my Taurus's root chakra, please? Okay, what do we got? So we'll take this one. Deuceus, Nine of Pentacles. So we got Nine of Pentacles twice now. And King of Pentacles, Bereth. Right, so with this Nine of Pentacles, this is like Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is the energy they were projecting onto you. So this is this energy of just jealousy and envy. They wanted to always have you in a place of setbacks, financial setbacks. Complete op opposite polar energies here. Polar opposite energies here. You step into Nine of Pentacles at the crown. These messages you get from the divine, your spirit guides, this is what they illuminate to you. You step into this energy, and then this is the energy they tried to trap you in. So it's like the energy the divine illuminated to you is literally the opposite energy that they were trying to trap you in. That's interesting. Pay attention to your intuition right now. Start thinking about things and their polar opposites. That's what they want to have you trapped in. King of Pentacles at the sacral. Again, a very jealous energy. Look at them there. <laughs> I'll be damned if I let Taurus step into their power. Six of Wands at the sacral. Oh, phooey. Look. <laughs> My plans have been foiled, right? <laughs> okay, what do we have with the solar plexus? Queen of Wands, Paimon, right? So this is this energy of just this... Uh, it's just this cold person, like this very dull, apathetic person. This is the person I feel like is going to come through and try and hoodwink and bamboozle you. Right? They want to try and get back in for the party. They want to be a part of the celebration. Okay, what do we have from the Heaven and Hell Tarot at the heart position? So this is a reading here about somebody who's trying to come back after you've up-leveled, ever since you've left them behind, or people. So we have Furfur, War and Strife, which is the Ten of Cups from the Occult Tarot. And then we have um, Lahaya, King of Pentacles, Obedience from the Angel Tarot. So we'll start here with this Ten of Cups energy, 
war and strife, right? So this is the energy you're leaving behind. This is this energy of like a, just like a broken family. Um, it just all has to do with some sort of like family karmic patterning that they tried to keep you stuck in, right? It was all just to keep you stuck, which tells me it's just generational karma that you're actually transmuting out now. They're just stuck in it. It's like they're still stuck in the goop. They don't understand that you're actually trying to transmute this generational karma out of the bloodline by stepping into your power. This is how you destroy generational karma is by breaking the conditioning by doing the exact opposite. Like I said, the polar opposite. This energy is all about polar patterns. And then with this obedience energy, King of Pentacles here, this is the energy you've stepped into now. This is this very, well, it's a very solid energy. It's just a very practical energy, right? Using your wisdom that you've gained from all this to step into your power. It's a very obedient energy. You're obedient to the divine. Okay, what do we have from the angel tarot throat? Knight of Swords at the throat. So this is you and this new lifestyle change, right? Like taking your, taking your crafts, taking your gifts, and actually using them to bring through a new life for yourself, to bring through abundance for yourself, to bring through intellectual richness, right? And some sort of generational wealth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy with that Knight of Swords. Okay, what do we have at the third eye? Three of Pentacles at the third eye. So, Three of Pentacles to me, it's like... It's like an energy of you having this teamwork and collaboration going on with your spirit guides, right? It's like they've been showing you the plan and now you're following it. It's like them showing you the blueprint and you just following it and it working out perfectly. It working out exactly as they told you it would as long as you followed this divine guidance. See, these energies here want to cast illusions over you like that's ridiculous. Those are That's just unrealistic to think that. But... I challenge you to try it and then see how unrealistic it is. The only thing unrealistic is thinking that it's not realistic. Three of Pentacles at the third eye. What do we have at the crown? Boom. Empress right there at the crown. So this is you now in this very abundant, fertile, creative energy, right? Some of you guys might be pregnant out there. This is uh, a reading for male or female as well. Empress can go both ways. Fer fertile meaning just fertile with abundance and creativity. And Nine of Pentacles and Empress to me are two very similar energies. So you have this very fertile, abundant energy stacked. Okay, it's very self-sufficient. It's very powerful. It's very luxurious. Okay, and it's something that you're all doing for yourself. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you'd like a personal reading, all that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Taurus. Take care.